You know, one of those things you come to master when you do street photography is eating alone in public. When you unlock this skill in life, you become unstoppable. Lately, I've been shooting with adapted film lenses on my Fujifilm X-E4. Let me just make this clear right now, this won't make you take better photos. You might look cooler, but you won't necessarily take better photos because of this. Personally, I've been using these adapted manual focus lenses purely to look cooler than I actually am. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually doing this to switch things up from my usual process and because I can't seem to find something that works for me and just stick to it. Shooting adapted lenses on newer digital cameras is no new concept. People have been doing this for a very long time. I've actually made a whole video on this exact topic last year. Uh, I did a pretty good job summarizing the basics to setting up adapted lens on the X-E4. So if you are interested in this kind of stuff, definitely check that video out. But people actually do this quite a lot with Fujifilm cameras. And it makes sense because, you know, Fujifilm cameras have that already analog design on their camera bodies. So why not slap on an old film lens on a Fujifilm camera? It's like icing on the cake for that analog yet digital shooting experience. In today's episode, I wanna shoot a little bit with the Fujifilm X-E4 and an adapted lens setup, shoot street photography, and sort of talk about how, you know, shooting with an adapted lens, a manual focus lens, um, how all of this has been affecting my process. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. So I've got this Leica M mount lens here and I'm gonna adapt it to the Fuji. And to do this, I'm using a Leica M mount to Fujifilm X adapter. I got this one on Amazon for about $20, so it's a super cheap option if you're looking to adapt Leica glass to the Fuji. I also own this Nikon to Fujifilm X adapter as well, and this is from KNF Concept. Also got this on Amazon. This one costed me about $35. So you really don't have to spend that much money on adapters if you're trying to you know, adapt manual focus film lenses to your Fujifilm. There are some that cost you know, $300 to $400. I stay away from those because those are for adapting newer autofocus lenses. Honestly, lens adapters like these are one of the few great value for the money pieces of gear in the photography world, especially if you've already invested money into vintage glass. So I'm in the beautiful yet incredibly small north end of Boston. It's like 94 out right now and I'm hungry. I have the Hexanon 50 millimeter attached to the Fuji X-E4. Because of the 1.5 crop factor of the Fuji sensor, this is gonna be more of a 75 millimeter, which is fine. I actually like that focal length for street photography. Um, yeah, let's shoot and see how long it lasts before I get a heat stroke.
I want to take a quick second to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. They're an all-in-one solution for those looking to build a customizable website, and I've personally used them for more than five years now. Photographers, regardless of their expertise, can make a professional-looking online portfolio using their easy-to-use templates. But Squarespace offers so much more. For example, my site is not only a place for my favorite photos, but it's also a place where I can share more about my process, as well as help run my business through my online store. If this sounds interesting to you, you can visit squarespace.com slash Faisal and use the code Faisal for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, so how is the experience shooting with vintage glass for street photography? Actually, if anything, it <laughs> slowed me down quite a bit. While some might look at, you know, being slowed down by using manual focus, I think when, you know, used intentionally, it can be for the better. You know, using a manual focus lens and being slowed down a little bit, you know, in those added few seconds it took me to, you know, focus and take the photo, I was thinking a bit more about the photo, you know, and whether or not that leads to better photos, I don't know, but I didn't find it to particularly get in my way, and it was a nice change to my usual process. You know, when you mostly shoot digital, you get so used to how simple and easy the autofocus is. You just hit a button and your picture's in focus almost instantly. There's really no thought put into it. And you know, I'm not saying that using manual focus is better, um, but it was a nice change of pace. And you know, if I can change things up um, in my process, I find it to be a lot of fun and I had fun you know, doing something different. On top of that slower approach, I also had to accept that not all of my pictures were going to be 100% in focus. You know, that's just the way it goes when you use a manual focusing lens. Maybe you could say they had a more painterly feel to them. I don't want to say they felt more like film, um, but this painterly characteristic is something I find I get a lot when I shoot film. I find this setup offers a very similar shooting experience. Um, and it's a lot more financially sustainable, um, especially for those who, you know, are just getting into photography and, and can't throw down, you know, hundreds of dollars every month to get film, to get it developed and scanned. It's crazy how expensive film's getting. And I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to emulate film with digital. You know, people do it in their edits all the time. I do it. It's not gonna hurt the film business. Um, I think the only thing that's going to hurt the film business is when Portra 400 actually costs $400. For the time being, we have adapted lenses, and this is one of the best, you know, deals or, or best value for the money things that you can buy um, if you already have, you know, all this money invested in um, vintage glass. And maybe if you're a photographer who mostly shoots film and can't, sustain the cost of it now you know this is an option for you to take some of the things you love about shooting film and 
put it into, you know, a digital camera. A $40 lens adapter to use film lenses you already might have is just too good of a deal to pass on. So I think this is worth the try if you've never done this before and, you know, you already have film lenses. So let me know what your experience with vintage glass on Fujifilm cameras has been like. You know, what lenses do you recommend to adapt to the Fuji? Um, I think anyone interested in this, looking for lenses, uh, could learn something from that. So definitely let us know in the comments. That's all for me today. I'll see you all in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.